close your eyes and check out the news inside. We spend way too much time hearing about the news outside and don't really know what's going on in our own minds. All kinds of currents are running around, and it's up to us to make some sense out of them and to point them in the right direction. Otherwise, we're just forced along by the nature of our past actions, sometimes making wise choices, sometimes making very unwise choices. But we do have the power of choice, and we want to take advantage of that. So we have to get the mind really still so we can see what's really going on inside, so we can sort things out, because sometimes things look good, certain thoughts look good on first appearance. But when you live with them for a while, you begin to realize they're going to take you in a bad place, and you have to be able to pull out and learn how to see more deeply into what's going on, so you can make better and better choices. This is where we can take advantage of the power of choice, because we can choose what to focus on. So focus on the things that will lead to happiness. That's the Buddha's main concern all the way through the issues. Do we have or do we have free will? Do we not have free will? Well, at least we have enough free will that we can put an end to suffering. That's what matters. So if that's something you seriously want to pursue, okay, this is how you do it. Get the mind really still so you can see more deeply into what's going on. It's like water that's been stirred up. If the water gets a time to be still, things begin to settle out, and you can see deeply into the water. That's one of the images the Buddha gives. If, when you see the Four Noble Truths, it's like seeing it in a clear pool of water what's happening in the water. And this big mud puddle of our mind, let it settle down for a bit so you can see more clearly. Where are the good things down there? Where are the bad things? Now we can make the choices that lead us in the right direction. Direction where we have find a happiness that doesn't harm ourselves, doesn't harm anybody else. That's what matters.